I got some stuff sold, and I got like a uh, thousand caps, I think, which is pretty good so far. Um, would have more, but Moira just doesn't have the money to support my selling habits. Yeah, I have 1,063, so let's go hit How's up Moira again. How's it going out there in the wastes? Uh, we're going to complete the first chapter. Yep, you've done a great job. I just need to add in the section on how to cook rat, and this chapter's done. Here, for your services, I've saved up quite a few stim packs. Of course, you may need them. We still have got two more chapters to go. Yep, so we get four stim packs ready to do the next the chapter. The second chapter is going to be a bit trickier, I think. It'll cover how to handle creatures out there, for better or worse. For example, repelling mole rats, uh, learning about mire lurks, and when all else fails, how to handle being injured. So let's buckle down and get to work on this chapter. What's first? Oh, this this whole chapter is pretty much pretty crappy. So, <laughs> let's uh, let's go with the injury one first. It's usually the easiest. Well, I never get to study anyone who's severely injured, not without them crying to be fixed right away or trying to bleed out and all that. But obviously, you can handle a lot of abuse. So if I'm ever going to find a good example of human anatomy and injury resistance, it'd be you. Next time you get badly injured, return here so I can examine you before I heal you up. I mean, you're going to get yourself hurt anyway, right? Sure. Wow, what a great research assistant you are. I mean, really, that's dedication. Demonstrating how to withstand pain by getting injured? Wow. When you're ready, come back here with some serious injuries. Maybe a crippled limb or two, and I'll take notes and fix you up. I'll be waiting here with plenty of bandages for you. So don't worry. Just go get horribly injured. Oh, and be careful. <sighs> All right. Well, um, how do no, you No, 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 no. Let's... Damn it. Oh. We're skipping this stuff because I didn't even want to talk to her about that anyway so let's go outside I've pretty much found that the easiest quickest way to do this is to uh, is to just go ahead and jump off of this but I'm going to wait 12 hours simply because by the time I actually do hurt myself Moira's shop is gonna be closed and we don't want that do we so I'll go ahead and just Wait, and you need to find. And this is. Oh shit! This is gonna be too oh. high. I think. No. Okay. All right. Now I just need to cripple a limb. Now the best way to do this, I think, I still might have some. Okay, I have, I have some frag grenades. I don't know if if I throw these in town, I don't know if they're gonna attack me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and save, and we're gonna throw it. I'm gonna walk near it. I'm gonna try and get a, a limb crippled. Yeah, I killed myself. Wow, I have like a Kaiser helmet on. All right, it doesn't even matter. We'll just. We'll just go ahead and load that. I'm gonna heal myself full. I'm gonna throw this grenade and sit like right on it. Okay, I still... Ah! I do have a... I do have a crippling injury, don't I? Uh, do I have a crippling injury? No, I don't think so. Oh, let's let's try this again one more time. Hope I don't die. Ah, there we go. Now I've got a cripple. Now I've got it. Okay, whatever. Blah blah blah. Ah, uh, let's go with. We'll just equip that for the hell of it. I ditched the pistols. I mean, it's the same ammo, but oh shit! I just went up the wrong way. I hate going up the wrong thing because I get all discombobulated. Now where the Line, how am I supposed to go here? Um, I don't even know which way I'm. Okay, here's the. Alright, gotcha. I believe we're just going up this. 
See, that was easy, wasn't it? Now I just gotta meander on back to Moira. Who I think I'd rather be dead than have to talk to her again, but we'll we'll go back inside anyway. Talk to her and get all patched up and get our reward. Oh hey Blah 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 blah, okay. Well, how do you feel? Uh Oh, I know it does, dear, but it's for a good cause. Uh, try not to squirm so much while I take notes. Now, how would you describe the pain you're feeling? Any advice for how to keep it from being overwhelming? And remember, this is for posterity. <sighs> Let's go with intelligence. That's a very enlightened attitude you've got. Shame it doesn't stop bullets, huh? Yeah. Luckily, I'm here to patch you up. Now hold still and quit fidgeting. Yeah, just sat on two grenades and she's How like... How can you be walking around like this? She's like, oh, well, let me just fix you up. Okay. I even stitched a little smiley face in you to keep up your spirits. It's kind of hard to see from your side, though. Here, take this environment suit of mine. It will help with medical tasks. And it should help prevent the effects of exposure, too. Yeah, ten bucks says I'm just gonna sell it to someone. So it doesn't even matter. I'm ready for more research. There's a sort of mole rat repellent I've developed. I need it to be tested on a few mole rats before I can say it's a success. There's a lot we don't know about Mirelurks and how intelligent and dangerous they are. That definitely deserves research. And that should be it for the second chapter. Which do you want to check out? Uh, probably the more interesting of these is the mole rats. Mole rats can burrow into almost anything and cause a lot of trouble. So I figured I'd make a chemical repellent stick for people to shoo them off. But I need it to be tested before I put the recipe to paper in the guide. So I need you to find some mole rats and test it out a bit. It'll be easy. One tap with the applicator and it overwhelms their senses with a sort of feel-bad sensation. Then they're gone before you know it. You could test it out on just a few mole ratties, but for real testing, try it on ten or more. There should be plenty in the tepid sewers downtown. I wonder if uh, the mole rats that I killed around Megaton respawned earlier. I have no idea. But, oh fuck. You know what? Before I go, before I go anywhere, before I go anywhere, where's Moira? Okay. Oh, I can't. Blah blah. blah. Okay, come on. I don't care. <laughs> I could lie and just say forget it. All I want to do is fuck. Not even that. I want Let you to repair my stuff, like my hunting rifle for now, and my laser pistol, and that. So now she'll have more caps for me. To sell my shit, which I don't want any of these granadas. Because I don't like using them so much. We'll get rid of that already. So, yep, definitely getting rid of that. Uh, I don't take any of the drugs in the game, really. So, we'll just get rid of most of this stuff. Um, da -da 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 -da. A lot of this stuff is pretty useless to me, and I can only give like that. And this. Yep. That's. That's about all I got, so. Good hunting! There you go. Got. Got some of my stuff repaired. Just a little bit. And. Pretty much was able to get rid of more stuff. That's pretty much how I make money in this game, just continuously. Buying, selling, etc., etc. Now I'm just going to walk out and see if the mole rats respawn, and if they did not, then we're off to the uh, sewers downtown, which is kind of an, an annoying walk. It's not very, uh, it's not very entertaining or exciting, but it's just something about this game where you can just walk around doing